Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are in Sardinia. We are probably something like 10 minutes away from Olbia, um, which is a city in North Sardinia. We're gonna spend here about six nights, but we're gonna work remotely for the last three nights. So uh, the bulk of interesting content and sightseeing from the video is gonna happen in the first three days, of course. So we arrived yesterday on a direct flight from London Heathrow. We arrived around uh, 8.40 p.m., but it took us a while to go for passport control and we also rented a car and our queue was huge. So we probably spent an hour in the queue as well. Keep in mind that a lot of um, hotels close their receptions early. So it's worth checking in, in advance when does the reception of your hotel close. We were lucky because ours was closing pretty late um, at 11 p.m. And we arrived just in time, half an hour before the reception closing. So it's quite a common occurrence that people miss you know, their reception closure time and end up staying somewhere else uh, because of the airport queues. Um, today we have a lot of things planned and first of all we're gonna go and check some of the most beautiful beaches in this area near Olbia and then we're gonna go for lunch in a very very beautiful uh, town or maybe even city uh, for the size of Sardinia called Porto Cervo. Let's go! To be completely honest with you, Porto Cervo did disappoint us a little bit because it wasn't a town, uh, to be fair, it looked like a large outdoor outlet, only it wasn't an outlet, it was full of ultra expensive shops and it's, the town itself lacked um, personality, so it didn't have any historical buildings or anything. It was just a town for rich people. So uh, we couldn't actually eat there because everything was extremely expensive. We are talking 40 euros per starter. So we drove for 15 minutes to a place called Canigione and we had the most amazing and the freshest seafood ever. It was great. I definitely recommend this place. And then we drove for seven more minutes to Manena Beach, where we stayed for three more hours, hired uh, two loungers and an umbrella, and paid 20 euros for everything. Ooh, we spent the rest of the evening on the beach. We actually managed to rent a lounger for 20 euros, which was good, and it was well like needed because I just wanted to lay down. It is really, really hot uh, compared to London, so I needed some time to kind of adjust to this weather. Um, right now, we checked in in our hotel. We stayed in a very budget hotel. I'll leave uh, the link to the hotel in the description 
description of the video in case you um, want to stay here as well and it fits your requirements but honestly it's just a really 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 basic hotel but really nice as well and it's perfect for one night stay honestly we're just taking a shower here sleeping and checking out at 10 a.m tomorrow so didn't need anything um, fancy at all and now I feel like we dressed a little bit um, I feel like we are a little bit overdressed for the dinner uh, but I just wanted to look elegant <laughs> because I I don't know just wanted to look elegant on a holiday so um, that's the look of today so yeah a black dress looks a little bit formal but it's fine so before heading for dinner we decided to go for a walk in palau and discover the city center or better to say town center so palau probably isn't the most beautiful um, italian town <laughs> we've ever seen but it definitely has its charm uh, there is a lovely um, street market in the evening a lot of people walking around and looking at different crafts so the town itself is way more affordable and way more friendly than Porto Cervo and other destinations in Costa Smeralda. It's just definitely not so posh and we liked it uh, way more. There is even a lovely beach uh, very close to the town center. So it's a great place to stay for a few days. There is also a port and there are quite a few ferries that, you, that can bring you to La Maddalena for swimming or a boat that you can rent for a day. Good morning, guys. Uh, today we walk up in the Hotel Picada. So that's how it looks. It's pretty basic. It's a three-star hotel and it's it was budget friendly and we only needed to sleep there for a night. For some reason I couldn't fall asleep so I might look a little bit sleepy but right now we are heading to a beach uh, to uh, spot number one in our itinerary so um, I'm gonna take you guys with us as always. Let's go! So it took us around 40 minutes to get to Santa Teresa Galura, our next destination. And in Santa Teresa Galura, very close to the city center, there is a beach that, to be fair, I consider one of the most beautiful and actually one of the best beaches in the entire Europe, obviously from the ones we have visited. Uh, we've visited quite a few. So Spiaccia de Rena Blanca is so beautiful. It obviously gets really crowded, so by 12 you won't found, find any loungers. Um, we were staying there for only two hours, so we didn't hire any anyways. Um, but it's best to arrive there early because you can find a really good spot for yourself um, because it does get busy. But honestly, the sand was so soft and the water so warm. It was the best place to swim on the island. So we were actually driving to the next destination, to a town where we are planning to eat and do a little bit of sightseeing, but I looked to the right and saw some beautiful, beautiful landscape and I just thought that we had to stop and that's how we found these dunes. The dunes are located about maybe five to seven minutes driving from Santa Teresa Galura and they are really hot, so be cautious. Uh, it wasn't a great idea to walk uh, there on the sand using flip-flops because I think I burnt my feet, um, but it was worth it because um, the landscapes were stunning. The dunes led to a beach. Uh, the beach was nice but probably not as nice as uh, the beach we visited before, Spiaggia de Rena Blanca. So on our third day in Sardinia, we were sleeping in Alghero. So in order not to drive for two hours straight, we decided to make a stop in a place called Castel Sardo. Um, we made a stop for lunch and went to a restaurant called Sale e Pepe, which was honestly great. It was one of our best meals on the island. And then walked around the town a little bit. It was really hot, but we managed to see some things. And there is a lovely castle in the middle of of Castel Sardo.
the road to Algero wasn't remarkable, so we just drove there, um, went to our hotel, dropped our bags and um, drove to the beach because the beach was a little bit far from our hotel. The beach in Algero was huge, long, but a little bit cold. It was actually much colder than the beaches on the eastern side of Sardinia. I only went for a really quick swim uh, while on the eastern part of the island I was swimming for half an hour without any problems. So after the swim we went um, back to our hotel, changed and uh, then went for a walk in Alguero. So in my opinion Alguero is definitely the highlight of Sardinia. It was the most beautiful city we've seen on the island. Unfortunately we haven't been in Cagliari. A lot of people say that Cagliari is also beautiful but um, from what we have seen so far Alguero was definitely uh, the most beautiful city. It was large and it had a lovely um, historic old town. It was crowded, it also had a nice promenade, had a lot of shops, um, it was definitely on par with some of the cities in Sicily. And Sicily is known, I think it's world famous for stunning cities and towns. guys it's 9 30 a.m and we are heading to a beach uh, so this beach is supposed to be one of the most beautiful if not the most beautiful in Sardinia but we have seen some really really beautiful beaches yesterday so I don't know how surprised we can be with that new beach but let's hope that there are sun beds um, available because otherwise we won't be able to stay there for long because it obviously gets really really hot uh, we don't have any umbrellas otherwise we might buy an umbrella for today and then leave it with someone it took us around 45 minutes to get to La Pilosa from Alguero, but somehow we ended up having a very disheartening experience. So we didn't realize that in order to get inside La Pilosa, you need to book a slot, a paid slot in advance. And by in advance, I mean, I mean actually in advance, like at least two weeks in advance during the high season, sometimes even up to three weeks in advance. And if you don't have a paid slot, there is absolutely no way you can be allowed on the beach except for uh, walking in the water. And you can get to La Pilosa from the beach called La Pilosetta, uh, but you cannot leave your things um, in La Pilosa beach because you need to have a wristband and there is actually um, there are actually staff members that are going and checking everyone so uh, we witnessed how some people were <laughs> evicted from the beach because they didn't have wristbands so instead we booked two loungers and an umbrella in La Pilosetta and we walked to La Pilosa to see the beach but we spent most of the time in La Pilosetta because it was equally nice it was actually uh, the water was a little bit deeper 
there so it was easier to swim and there were a lot of fishes which was wonderful but um, La Pilosa and La Piloseta are so beautiful and there are definitely the most impressive beaches in Sardinia although for swimming I would still prefer the beach in Santa De Teresa Galura, Spiaggia uh, de Rena Blanca. At around 3pm uh, after having a quick lunch in a cafeteria in La Peloseta, it was time for us to go back to Olbia. It took us about uh, two hours to get there, the road was really good. We dropped our bags in the apartment where we were staying for the next three days and drove to the beach called Porto Estana. The beach was actually very nice and the water was really, really warm. Then it was time for us to return our car. So we dropped our car back um, in the airport and then took a bus back to the city center. So the bus goes every um, 30 minutes and costs about one and a half euros. It was very reliable and very fast. It took us just about 12 minutes to get back to Olbia center from the airport. Olbe is not probably the most beautiful or most popular destination in Sardinia but it's very convenient because it has an airport and a lot of uh, people uh, whose plane land quite late stay here overnight and uh, decide to explore Olbe in the evening and in the morning as well so we're gonna we haven't been to the city center yet I've heard that it is nice so let's go and discover it together time to say goodbye this was our short video about um, a way to spend three days in Sardinia and maybe even work remotely a little bit from Olbia I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any questions please leave them in the comments down below bye bye